all right so for today's video i wanted to do something different and i just want to come with like an idea that i feel like a good amount of people are not going to like based off the title you could probably already tell what it is but me personally i think that update 4 taking longer to come out is a good thing you what now look relax when i say that update 4 taking a while to come out i have reasons as to why i think it's good now as a youtuber you're probably wondering why i'm saying this especially if i'm the one that needs content to survive on youtube and update 4 isn't coming out for the main game that provides me content like you're probably wondering why i'm saying that it's taken a while to come out is a good thing but that's because there's an opportunity well not even an opportunity it's guaranteed that if we wait longer we're gonna have more stuff to do now the main reason why i'm saying that update 4 taking learn to come out is a good thing is purely because there's gonna be more things for us to do like I already know I'm going to be having it playing up in the background, but there is so much stuff coming and there's so much stuff that we don't even know. Literally two days ago from when I'm recording this, we just found out about crabs, like a crab cutlass or a crab katana coming to GPO. We never knew, like, I mean, if you have Patreon sneaks, then you probably knew, but I'm talking about us players without Patreon sneaks. We never knew that, like, we never knew that there was anything involving crabs coming. Only thing that I knew about update 4 really has coming is what's posted inside updates or for you sneak peeks. So like Suna Fruit, those new um those new what's it called? The Suna Fruit, the new rares, the commons, like that's really all we knew. And then out of nowhere, For You just drops a crab cut lag. And on top of that, today at 5 19 pm, we literally just found out that we're gonna be getting a Karu rideable mount in GPO. Like what like i'm telling you there's like there's so much new stuff being presented to us that we didn't know before and that's purely because the update's taking longer now i like I've, i see the full other side of the conversation there's nothing to do gpo so dry the content's boring it's just like rinse and repeat and i fully agree gpo right now is so boring but it's just the sole fact that all this other stuff is coming is that i'm fine with the wait Foyu has presented so like not even Foyu himself. Let me give credit to the other developers too. All of the devs on the GPO team have all presented so much things to us, and it's all leading up to this one update. Like I knew that update four was going to be the make or break for GPO because nobody's gonna keep on waiting for you to take two to three months just to release one fruit, add a new island, we go beat up some bandits or a boss, we get the new drops, we play PvP. Then we just farm low gears and it's like boring nobody was gonna wait that update 4 is different from every single other gpo update and i know that almost every youtuber keeps on saying that oh, like it's like this is really gonna be the best update but that's because they're improving every time a new update comes out they're learning new stuff they're taking feedback from the community i i, I hope and it's like like everything is just getting better overall like literally we're finally getting new hockey there's so much colors what else do we have we have krakens we have two sword style we have new devil fruits we have new islands we have interactive npcs on the islands we have we have a whole new sea presented from this leak i don't know if this actually means like a whole entire different sea or not but based off of what i'm seeing right here i'm just gonna assume that it's a whole entire new sea we have mountable rides, we have crab bosses, we have crab cut glasses, we have so much more stuff coming to this update. And we also have like this weird space bar thing, I don't know what it is, it might be like a little fun mini game that you do on an island, or like another way to get EXP and grinding. So based off of what I know right now, I can confidently say that update 4 is going to be the best thing for GPO. And it's gonna stick like once this update comes out too what you have to take in is the fact that people are gonna realize yo GPO is trying something new it's not just releasing an update that's just basic just like update 3 and update 2 where they just drop some fruits and stuff and they, then like we go on a hiatus and just wait two three months for the same thing again people are gonna realize this and they're gonna come back and stick to play GPO even longer and more purely because something new is being showed like this is honestly so good 
Like, it, it's really so good. Showing off all this stuff, getting us all hype. Like, literally, how, like, let me, let me actually go look at it right now. Like, there is no way that you can tell me it has been over a month since the Gomu and Two Sword Style Showcase for GPO. Usually, before you do these showcases type of videos, the update comes out within like the next two weeks. It has been a whole month since the Fruit Showcase videos. This is telling you that fruits and stuff is not just going to be the only good things coming to GPO inside this update. So, as much as me, a, a literally like a GPO content creator, want the update to come out as fast as it can, just so that I can like you know release my videos and stuff. I like I fully know and believe that the update taking longer is a good thing, like entirely. Yeah, there's dry like there's really not much to play on Roblox right now. I, I literally just come on and just stare at the game page and like wow, there's really not much to play. But this update is honestly gonna be fire, and I hope that this video just like rekindled some flames into you. So another thing that I want to add because I was just about to end the video but while I'm editing it I realized that there's something else I want to say is that I also feel like GPO will look at this update probably see how good it's going to be doing knowing that people you know they want more things to do they might look at this update and think to themselves all right what can we do for update 5 then they're going to probably add something original like they're going to add a conquest mode they could add more like more methods to grinding for example you could like interact with the areas and worlds around you to like help build up the world and by that i mean so let's say for example just like a quest and it's to help this person construct the building or there's this quest to carry this lady safely to her destination and like multiple stuff come attack come and attack you while you're doing it like this is the thing so i'm hoping that they you know take in some of the information that some YouTubers are saying and not even YouTubers just some of the stuff that people are saying but they are honestly listening to the community in some type of way because our like cries have got to them especially with the hockey and other stuff and at the moment right now if you see it on your screen right now um, Benere made a poll today at 6 37 a.m. saying what do you think of GPO adding original ideas I don't see any reason as to why you would vote no for original ideas, but still, this is them showing that they want to do stuff different. They don't want to keep on following the typical routine that they're known for doing, which is just releasing the update, then going about their day. Like, I, I really felt like I needed to add this because this is honestly such a good thing, and I'm happy that the developers are doing this. I feel like any game developer should try to go some type of original content and not just follow strictly based on what the anime shows if you're making an anime game so yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to add and i'm just gonna let the rest of the video play because there's really so much stuff coming and i hope that everybody's gonna be excited for it now i don't want to like to sound like i'm just fully cock sucking gpo just because i'm like a youtuber for it or something but like i'm honestly speaking facts when I'm saying that they're adding so much more stuff we're even getting new outfits we haven't had outfits or anything like any type of cosmetic change in GPO since update zero and that was because update zero was the initial release with stuff I'm sure like sure you you can count the drip outfit but that costs robux this is gonna cost Peli in game there's just even gonna be a use for Peli inside the game like you're not telling me that update four is not one of the best things that's ever gonna happen in GPO. Like, I'm really so hyped for it. I can probably keep on going on longer because there's cyber there's a whole new race coming. Like a hook for I mean I'm not really that excited about the hook, but it's still content. That's the thing. Even though some stuff may not seem exciting to certain people, at the end of the day, it's really still content and something to do inside the meantime. But I'm pretty sure that's enough about me rambling on about how great update 4 is and how I'm completely fine with how long it's taking. Well, I'm not going to say I'm completely fine because just like everybody else, I wanted to release so I could play it, but I'm fine with what's being shown to me and how well the dev team is doing just to show that they're like, you know, putting effort, hard work into this just so that we can have a good update and it's not just rinse and repeat like all the time. But 
besides all of that, I personally like making this video about update 4. I'm sure that some people are going to have a different take and I'm fully open to criticism or any idea that you want to share so feel free to leave that inside the comments. But besides all of that, thanks for watching this video and if you liked it then subscribe and like the video. If you didn't then you won't have to do any of that. And besides that, I hope you have a good day.